At 8.25 a.m., you pass a police car at 55 miles per hour that is stopped on the freeway. You pass a second police car at 55 miles per hour at 8.32 a.m., which is located 8 miles from the first police car. If the speed limit is 55 miles per hour, can the police cite you for speeding? So just because you weren't speeding at 8.25 a.m. and you weren't speeding at 8.32 a.m., that doesn't mean you weren't speeding somewhere between 8.25 a.m. and 8.32 a.m. So what we'll do is determine your average rate of speed over this time interval and see if it's more or less than 55 miles per hour. To do this, we'll be using the distance equals rate times time formula. And notice how if we solve the equation for r by dividing both sides by t, we have the rate r is equal to distance divided by time. So we'll be using the formula rate equals distance divided by time to answer this question. To begin, we know the distance is eight miles. And the time is the time that passes from 8.25 a.m. to 8.32 a.m. If we take 8.32 a.m. and then subtract 8.25 a.m., notice how seven minutes have passed. The time is seven minutes. So now going back to the formula, we know the average rate is equal to the distance of eight miles divided by the time of seven minutes. But notice right now the units are miles per minute and we're trying to compare it to a rate in miles per hour. And therefore we'll have to convert minutes to hours by multiplying by a unit fraction. Because we don't want minutes in our final rate, we need to have minutes in the numerator and hours in the denominator. And the conversion is 60 minutes is equal to one hour, and therefore the unit fraction is 60 minutes over one hour. Notice how this fraction is equal to one, but now when multiplying, the units of minutes simplify out, leaving us with miles per hour. So multiplying, we now have eight miles times 60, or 480 miles, divided by seven times one hour, or seven hours. And now we'll convert to a decimal and round to one decimal place. But notice how here the units are miles per hour. 480 divided by seven is approximately 68.6, giving us 68.6 .6 miles per hour as your average rate or average speed from 8.25 a.m. to 8.32 a.m. So even though you weren't speeding at 8.25 a.m. or 8.32 a.m., because your average speed over this time was 68.6 .6 miles per hour, there must be at least one time in this time interval where you were going 68.6 .6 miles per hour, and therefore the answer is yes, you can be cited for speeding. This real life application is an application of the mean value theorem. So before we go, let's review this theorem. Actually, let's take a look at this graph below. Over this closed interval, this red line is a secant line. The slope of the secant line represents the average rate of change of the function over this closed interval. And because the function is continuous over the closed interval and differentiable over the open interval, there must be at least one x value in the interval where the instantaneous rate of change, or the slope of the tangent line, would be the same as the slope of the secant line. And notice how on this graph there are two values of x, where the slope of the tangent line, or the instantaneous rate of change, is the same as the average rate of change over the interval, which is the slope of the secant line. So this is the idea that we used to determine whether you could be cited for speeding or not. Going back to our problem one last time, since your average speed over the time interval was 68.6 .6 miles per hour, there had to be at least one time from 8.25 a.m. to 8.32 a.m. that you were going this speed, which is why you could be cited for speeding. I hope you found this helpful.